In this problem, this is chapter 5, uh, textbook question number 39, we're asked to find the force that's required to move a book with a constant speed across a table. And we're told that the mass of the book is 0 0.27 kilograms and that the coefficient of friction between the table and the book is 0 0.11. Now there's no uh, there's no units on a coefficient of friction because it's a ratio and the units cancel out. So the first thing we need to do is is realize or recognize that constant speed in this problem implies zero acceleration. So let's just remind ourselves zero acceleration here. And then in Newton's second law, acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. That is going to be equal to zero. So then we start off in the usual way, which is to draw ourselves a free body diagram. So here we go. Here is the book represented by a dot. And this book is sitting on a table. And of course, let me tilt that so it actually looks flat. This is implied to be horizontal. It's always assumed that tables or other furniture are horizontal surfaces. So then we go right ahead and start asking ourselves the usual questions that we do when we draw a free body diagram. Is there gravity? Yes, there is. So here comes the gravity FG arrow. And is it sitting on a surface? Well, yes, it is. It's sitting on a table that was given to us. And since we know from this problem that there's no acceleration up or down, it's, it's moving to the right across the table, that the normal force is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the gravitational force. So I'm going to mark these two arrows being congruent to show that their magnitudes are equal. Since they point in opposite directions, in any equation we might set up, they would be subtracting. Then, next question, is this object being pushed or pulled? And the answer, yes, it is. It's being pushed. And I'll just say it's being pushed to the right. And that's the applied force. And then the next question, is there friction? And the answer is, yes, there is friction. But now when I go to draw my friction arrow, I have to realize that acceleration being equal to zero means that there's zero acceleration. So these two forces have to cancel out. So I'm going to make the length of my friction arrow, force due to friction, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the applied force. And I'm going to mark them with those two congruent marks to show that they're equal in magnitude. So now, um, the fact that there are four forces acting on this book doesn't mean the, the four forces are in equilibrium. In other words, the net force is zero. Although there's no acceleration, net force of zero can still mean that the object is moving with a constant speed. So just let me remind us again, constant speed is the same thing is as at rest in terms of balanced forces. All right, well, since we need to assign a coordinate system to this, let's go ahead and say that there's no acceleration but the direction of motion is to the right. So I'm going to label to the right being positive x and up being positive y. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and remind myself that since the normal force is equal to the force due to gravity, that when I find the force due to gravity, which is also known as weight, I am going to then have found the normal force. So let's go ahead and, and do some of that, work those out. So force due to gravity is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to 0 0.27 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's going to limit us to two sig digs, so I'll reflect that in the answer. And that is equal to, oh, that ends up being equal to, 2.646 newtons, and I'll call that two sig digs, 2.6 newtons. Okay, so since the normal force is equal to 2.6 newtons, uh, sorry, since the force due to gravity is equal to 
2.6 newtons, then that means the normal force, which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, is equal to 2.646 newtons as well. So now, what we need next in our understanding is the equation that relates the frictional force to the normal force. And that equation is frictional force is equal to the normal force times this coefficient, which is called mu or mu, it depends how you, however you want to pronounce it. And then this k here is the, the, this little subscript k stands for kinetic friction. So mu sub k stands for the coefficient of kinetic friction. And we've been told in the problem that this is equal to 0 0.11. So let's go ahead and solve this out now. With this equation, I can find the frictional force and since the frictional force is equal in magnitude to the applied force, I can use frictional force to, to tell me what the applied force must be. It must be exactly equal to the frictional force. So frictional force is equal to coefficient of kinetic friction, which is given as 0 0.11, again no units because it's a ratio, times the normal force, which is equal to the acceleration due to gravity times the mass, so Fg, so Fn, 2.646 newtons. And we won't round here just because we're looking for our final answer. We'll round at the end. The frictional force then, when we calculate that out, and take into account the two sig digs is 0 0.29 newtons. So that means that if the frictional force is equal to 0 0.29 newtons, then the force I must apply equals the force required is equal to 0 0.29 newtons. And let me write the therefore state statement that goes along with this. Therefore, I must apply 0 0.29 newtons of force to move the book at a constant speed.